Ah, I came down to the park where Kaylee and I were. Oh, no, she's not metal detecting. She's got a whipper snipper. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Unfrequented world, and we're going to try to get in a few hours of hunting today. I'm going to start at the park where my daughter and I went the other day. I know we didn't have good luck there, but uh, right at the end where we hit the grassy areas where some trees and stuff were, there were some good signals in there, and it kind of indicated to me that uh, maybe this place hasn't been hit, and I'm going to give it a good going over here. Um, I just have a feeling, so we're going to follow the gut feeling, and this is where we're going to start. Also, a quick update on the new detector that I'm thinking about. Um, I had started with the uh, Nocta Impact, was where I had did a bunch of research, and that's where I thought I was going to go. And then one of the uh, dealers online and one of the forums I belong to uh, made me an offer, a discount offer on a cruiser, saying the Macro Cruiser, saying that it was the next model. I did a bunch of research on that one, and it doesn't seem like a bad machine at all, but I'm just not convinced that it has the depth and the... Uh, VDI that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that very steady uh, at depth VDI which so when I get a tone and a good reading it's going to be solid. My problem with my two machines now the Garrett AT is excellent it goes down 10 inches but I'm, I get good signals and they're all over the place and a good signal can just be junk as I mentioned so I know that can be the case with any machine and running the 11 inch DD coils also uh, is part of the problem so I think, um, as of right now, I've looked at the Equinox 600, 800. I've looked at a half dozen machines here this last weekend. I'm still leaning towards the Impact with the uh, Pro Package, and you get a sniper coil with that. And I think that some of these trashy areas I hunt in, by switching to a smaller 5x7 or 5-inch uh, coil, I'm not sure which one it is, I might have some better luck. So I'm, I'm thinking, seriously, leaning towards the uh, Nocta Impact. Oh, and the wife says, no, I'm not allowed, and we're not paying for that. She won't give me any money. So if one of my astute, wonderful viewers would like to buy that for me, I'll use it in your name. Aunt Laura, I'm looking at you. All right, don't mind uh, my metal detecting buddy in the background there. She's making a bit of noise, but uh, I found the first signal of the day, and I thought it was going to be a pull tab, and it's not. So on the top, there is a symbol right here, and very faintly, the number 17 on the right hand side over here. I don't know if you guys can make that out. But uh, other than that there's no caliber or anything on there. It's in pretty good shape. Alright, next signal guys, we've got a coin right here and it's a dime. Not an old one. Dirty one. 1989. Alright, on to the next. I think it's a dog tag. Nope. Uh, what is that? Yes, it is. Well, so much for modern technology. You can put the scanner on there, but uh, the dog's still going to lose it. Nice, uh, deep 8-inch signal here, right on the edge of hearing. Ringing up a low 70, perfect for an old coin signal, but uh, no luck. Not sure what that is. All I know is it's not a coin. Well, there's two in a row. Nice coin signals, and uh, I get Bud, the king of trash. Nope, that's not it either. All right, another coin and just another penny. Nineteen eighty-three. So again, nothing to uh, suggest old stuff. Oh, well, just another modern penny. Ninety-five. I got tricked. I dug up a can. I don't dig up cans. This thing was so deep and just the edge sticking up. It. I thought honestly thought it was a penny. Reading a solid eighty-four and a faint signal. You know, I figured 7 inches. No, it was about 10 inches and it was this, just the corner, one of the corners sticking up. I think it was that corner. Oh, American 1973. Huh, 8 inches, 72 signal. And a very fine piece of copper, I think. Okay, it's not a complete bust, guys. Coke cap, but look under liner. You may win. 
We're gonna do that. We are gonna do that. Oh, talk about ignorant. Took the winning liner and threw the rest away. Sooner or later, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get a good coin signal at eight inches and it's actually gonna be a good coin. But uh, not this time. Just another penny. Well, I knew this one was a penny, so not a disappointment there. So it's getting hot. I've moved under the trees closer to the beach. It's pretty trashy here, but uh, getting a few coins, pennies, and, uh, and this, I don't know. I think it might have been a paintbrush. So uh, that rings up a good solid 75, whatever it is. And uh, to me, it looks like maybe a paintbrush that the bristles are all gone and then the handle's gone. Could be wrong. Yeah, I could paint that. Uh, another modern copper. This place should have some history, but I guess like everywhere else around here, it's been backfilled. My guess would be early 80s because all the pennies I'm finding are 82, 83, 84, so... Haven't found anything older than that. Just found my first ring of the day. Beauty, ain't she? Woo-wee! Well, I'm not really sure they needed the sign. Riding for heart and stroke. Huh. Good old Canadian spirit, anyway. So I've just spent 40 minutes doing all this undeveloped area behind me here, and uh, junk. That's it. Just junk. Wait a minute. Upon closer inspection of this junk that I just pulled out and didn't really look at, that looks like a square nail. It definitely has four sides, square sides. Signal was a little weak, but uh, I eventually found it. Oh, I'm getting detector elbow. Normally it's not bent like that. All joking aside, my elbow is killing me. I don't know if I could swing a, a knock to impact. It weighs an extra pound. And uh, to the start of this season, maybe I've done too much, I don't know, but the old elbow is just throbbing. Score, beach finds. Blistex for the wife, and a marker for the kitties. Well, I feel like I've dug halfway to China in here. And I just can't find it. Down here at the water's edge I need my shovel, and it's in the car, so... Can't do it! So here on the far end of the park, I have found the proof I've been looking for. In appreciation of the contribution by Teen Town, I don't know what Teen Town is, 72 to 76, 86 to 87, falls right in that early 80s uh, era that I'm talking about. They uh, did a bunch of work down here, obviously at that point, and um, backfilled and made the beach better, I guess. So there's my answer for uh, whether I want to come back here or not. Well, there it is, guys. Today's haul, lots of goodies, one dime, Five pennies, one ring, a nice ring, and uh, don't worry about that blistics, that'll clean right up. I'm sure it will. Oh, a little wet, but it'll dry out. Mmm, lemon. Perfect. I think the wife's okay with lemon. Anyway, that's it guys. So I guess the question is, do I need a new detector for the junk I dig? I guess not, not really. But I really, really want one. Wait for me, guys. I'm a-coming. I'd be that one guy that didn't pedal. Well, a beautiful day to be out exploring regardless. Uh, sorry the finds weren't more exciting, guys, but it's another spot we can tick off our list. So stay tuned. More detecting to follow.